Hello everyone, in this video we will see what is shallow copy and deep copy. But to understand what is shallow copy and deep copy, we need to first understand different types of copy constructor. There are two types of copy constructor. One is compiler generated copy constructor or we can also say default copy constructor. And the other type is user defined copy constructor. First we will see what is compiler generated copy constructor. Copy constructor generated by compiler is called compiler generated copy constructor or if there is no copy constructor defined by the user, compiler will generate copy constructor for us. You can see in this class A, I do not have any copy constructor defined by me. So compiler will generate copy constructor for me. Let's try to call this hidden copy constructor generated by the compiler. To call copy constructor, I need some object to copy. So I will create an instance of this class. Now I will create one more instance of this class using copy constructor, which will copy object one. This particular statement will invoke copy constructor, but I have not defined any copy constructor in class A. As I already told, when there is no copy constructor defined by the user, compiler will generate copy constructor for us. So this particular statement will invoke copy constructor generated by the compiler. But how to verify this? Whenever we run this program, if compiler don't throw any error because of missing copy constructor, then this statement actually invoked a copy constructor generated by the compiler. Let's run this program and verify this. If you see there are no errors even though we have not defined any copy constructor because this particular statement actually invoked copy constructor generated by the compiler. Because of this we don't see any error. Now we will see what is user defined copy constructor. Copy constructor defined by the user is called user defined copy constructor. Let's say if I have my own definition of copy constructor, then that is called user defined copy constructor. I will define my own copy constructor here. Class name which takes class name with constant reference. One thing to be noted here is when user have defined copy constructor, compiler will not generate copy constructor for us. So whenever this statement gets executed, user defined copy constructor will get called. Let's run this program and verify this. We got an error. Let's see what is the error. No matching function call to default constructor. This statement trying to execute default constructor as we do not have default constructor, we are getting this error. I will define default constructor to get rid of this error. Let's run this program again and see if user defined copy constructor actually getting invoked. You can see that copy constructor defined by the user gets executed. Now that we know what is compiler generated copy constructor and user defined copy constructor. Now let's try to understand why do we need user defined copy constructor if compiler itself generates copy constructor for us. To explain this, I will create two member variables which includes normal variable as well as pointer variable. Let's initialize both the variables in default constructor. Now we will print these variables in both object1 and object2. First I will check the behavior using compiler generated copy constructor. So I will comment the copy constructor defined by me. You can see that the value of x and p in both object1 and object2 are assigned with 5 which is expected. Now I will modify the value of x and p and check the result again. Okay. 
you can see that the value of x and p in object 1 is 10 which is expected as we have changed the value of x and p in object 1 and the value of x and p in object 2 should not get modified and expected to be 5 as we have not modified the values of x and p in object 2 but here you can see only the value of the normal variable x is 5 which remains unchanged and this is expected but the value of pointer variable p in object 2 gets modified to 10 which is unexpected so this is definitely a issue with compiler generated copy constructor. So compiler generated copy constructor works well with normal member variables. But with pointer variable it does not give expected output. This is because compiler generated copy constructor does shallow copy. We can also say this as member wise copy. Member wise copy is nothing but members of object 2 are assigned with members of object 1. To visualize this I have written the definition of copy constructor generated by the compiler. In compiler generated copy constructor if you see member variables are simply assigned. Even the pointer variable simply gets assigned. Because of this pointer variables will point to the same memory address that is both the pointer in object 1 and object 2 are pointing to the single memory location which I have created in default constructor. Because of this reason when I changed the value of p in object 1 the value of p in object 2 also got modified. This is called member wise copy or shallow copy. In compiler generated copy constructor, shallow copy is performed. Because of this, we see unexpected output with pointer variables. To overcome this, we need to define our own copy constructor which does deep copy. So I will uncomment this and do little modification. To solve the issue which we seen in compiler generated copy constructor, for pointer variable we need to create new memory and then assign the values. With this the pointer p in object 1 and object 2 will be pointed to different memory location. So changing the value of p with one object will not affect the other object. Let's run this program and see if this works. You can see with user defined copy constructor even the value for the pointer variable p in object 2 is 5 which remains unchanged and this is expected result. So this is called deep copy. Deep copy is nothing but creating record memory for pointer member variables and then assigning the values. In user defined copy constructor deep copy is performed. Now we will summarize all the discussions. Shallow copy or member wise copy is performed in compiler generated copy constructor or default copy constructor. Deep copy is performed in user defined copy constructor. If a class don't have any pointer member variable then compiler generated copy constructor is enough. If a class have any pointer member variable then we need to go for user defined copy constructor. Give a thumbs up if you like this video, comment down below if you have any questions or feedbacks, subscribe to Nantan channel to see more videos. Thanks for watching.